Now let's say we want to create a set list. The first thing we probably do is create a new folder. The way we do that is we go to the menu option songs and select new folder. It shows up on top and it is empty. We can select it and press on the title to change its name. In this case, I'll call it gig list. Now, let's say you want to bring other songs from your BeatBuddy manager into that list. There are two ways to get this done. You could either drag them over, for example, I'll take Blues 8 and drag it directly into gig list. However, as you can see, that once you drag it into gig list, the Blues 8 in its original folder is gone. This is because we have actually moved it from one folder to the next. The second way you can move them into other folders is by copying them into other folders. And the way this is done is you select the song you want to move. In this case, it's Blues 8. You go to File, Export, Song, and you press Save. Go back into the, uh, to the gig list you want to put the song in. You go to File, Import, Song, and let's select Blues 8 and click Open. As you can see, Blues 8 is in gig list, is in gig list as well as in the folder Blues. You could use any of the two methods I've shown you to create a set list of your own. Now remember, any changes you make in the BeatBuddy Manager must also be applied to your pedal, and you do this by synchronizing your project. After you're done making all the changes, Go to the menu option file and select synchronize project. And the name of your SD card's drive shows up and you choose yes. And that's all there is to it.